Good morning, it is day 316. It is 7.30 in the morning. I left San Clemente at 4 a.m. I honestly just woke up in a bad mood so I didn't want to film first thing. But I don't know where I am, I'm at the, the, the same Love's truck stop that I always stop at when I go up to Mavericks. And yeah, we're gonna go pick up Brandon Sauna. And the more that I've thought about it, I was like, maybe I should have just said no. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like he's paying me, but I, was, I don't know. Sometimes I just do, but we're gonna make a road trip vlog. It's gonna be fun. I might try and work out when I'm up there. It depends how long the sauna takes. And then I honestly might just drive home today because the waves in Santa Cruz are gonna be bad and my friend uh, Ch and Chapman isn't gonna be off. So it's like, I don't really have a reason to go to Santa Cruz other than to like see him or see my, and you know his girlfriend and, and her brother and stuff, which I guess I, I could go and do. But we'll see, I don't know. It depends how I feel. I kinda wanna go home and work on some stuff. Back to it, on the road again. Almost there. Getting really close. I don't know how much you can hear what I'm saying. But I turned it off because I don't have air conditioning. And I was really sweaty. Downtown Redwood City. I grabbed a coffee from Coffee Bar. And because I'm always looking for like specialty coffee shops, you know, like I work at Sir Coffee every day. I'm like a team rider whatever ambassador for them and it's because they make really good coffee and all of America believes seems to believe or most of America seems to believe that Starbucks is uh, top tier when in reality you're just addicted to the sugar that is in those drinks and they taste horrible and they're bad for you but I you know a little caffeine never hurt no well I mean they give you anxiety at some point but I never hurt nobody I'm gonna go to Brennan's house we're gonna uh, take apart his sauna, put it in here, grab a few more things for him, and then drive all the way home. I might see, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look and see if I can take the coast. Because maybe I can surf on the way home. Maybe. Depends how long, I don't know how long this is gonna take me. But I can't imagine taking that long. It's a two person sauna, and it's all held together with bands and stuff. This is a pretty neighborhood. I would say that it barely fit. <laughs> oh, it's like, I don't know when the camera died, but she's in there, that's for sure. Now to drive eight hours home. Here we go. Got a Yerba and an Olipop, and uh, we're hitting the road here. It says seven hours home. It says I'll get home at 8.20. I reckon I'll get home at nine. I gotta stop, get some gas. And I also go slow because this van is slow as hell. <laughs> Here we go, people. 16 hours of driving in one day. Let's get it. Honestly, F the street sweeper. Who says they want to be a street sweeper? Messed up. You guys, it's 110 degrees. Or 109. So 109 degrees. And I have to drive with all the windows down. And I am so high. I gotta see, I got like sweat dripping down my face. I don't have air conditioning. I can't remember if I said that or not. I'm kind of delusional at the moment. But yeah, I guess I'll fix the air conditioning in the van now. I've had the new AC compressor forever. I just, every time I open the hood, I like look and I see how much stuff I have to take out. I've pretty much to take the front half of the car out to get to the, to the air compressor, the AC compressor. And now I gotta get a condenser too. I think I should just replace that while I'm at it. And do the water pump and some other stuff. And maybe a new radiator. 109 people no freaking ac this is gnarly like i'm i have to focus right now it's been like four out yeah wow it's been four hours in this heat and i'm i'm feeling it i got a ways to go it says 110 on the maps and then i think 44 is right at 110. i got gas and i had literally i had to resort i bought a bunch of cold water and i had to start <laughs> Uh, pouring cold water all over myself in my shirt because I was actually overheating. It was uh, 1, 110 or 111 at one point, I think, is what it said on my thermometer. And that's what it said on the app, too, on the weather app. So, that's crazy. I've got a headache right now. I'm, like, dehydrated. This is crazy, dude. I feel like I'm back in my doing another freaking ultra marathon. 
<laughs> the ultra marathon of driving, dude. Let's go. Don't like get stuck behind one semi going 55 and another semi going 54. 